Hey, what's up guys? This is Alex with Verge Army. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Verge paper wallet. And then I'm going to show you how to import your paper wallet into your Verge Core wallet. First you want to go over to vergecurrency.com. Then scroll all the way down to the Wallets section. Click on Other. Then you'll see Verge Paper Wallet. Go ahead and click on that. And that's going to redirect you to the Verge Paper Wallet website here. Okay? So instead of doing it on here, go ahead and click this Secure Download file. Click OK. It's going to pop into your downloads over here if you have uh, Firefox. If you don't have Firefox, it's going to pop up in your other browser download file. Open that file. Then you're going to need to extract all. Hit click extract. Then go ahead and go into airplane mode on your computer. This is going to protect you from getting hacked. Find your paper wallet location again. Click on the index.html file. And you're going to see here as you move your mouse around, it's going to generate the random numbers. You can also type in here. Kind of switch back and forth. Try to make it as random as possible. You can see the basic security checklist that we're running from the generator. That's good. The browser is capable of generating cryptographically random keys. Okay. So we can see here, step one, you calibrate your printer. Step two, you print your front, you print your back, and you cut, fold, uh, seal, and fund. So go over to calibrate your printer. You can see here it says horizontal shift. The distance from left to right sides of this image to the edge of the page should be equal. So these distances should be equal. Make sure none of the image is cut off. Okay. You should see a black border on all four sides. You can see the black border here. Okay. Also, if you fold the paper in half, the crease should fall on the dotted line right here. Okay. So you're going to want to print the calibration test. You have to make sure that you put this in landscape mode. So put this in properties, click on landscape, and click OK. Click OK to print. Okay. It's going to print it. Uh, my printer's offline. I'm not going to show you that, but go ahead and check that. Then you can see here, this is the wallet that you generated. Here's your public key right here, the QR code, and the numbers and letters here. This is your address for your public address. This is where you are going to send coins to. Okay. And you can see here is your private address. Okay, go ahead and copy that private address. Copy. You can see where you can print the back as well. It just makes it look cooler. This tells you how to cut, fold, and seal. Okay. How to add funds to your wallet. Send your XVG to the address or QR code where it says public address. So if you want to send funds, like I said, right here's your public key. This is where you're going to send funds to, to this paper wallet. 
okay? How to withdraw funds from your wallet. You should expect to withdraw the entire balance of the wallet by importing it or sweeping it to a live wallet, okay? So, also if you elected the, B, the BIP38 encrypted wallet, you may need to recover your unencrypted with private key address validate from this tab. So you're gonna, gonna wanna go here, especially if you have the encrypt enabled, which I did not show. You copied that a minute ago. You're gonna paste that right here. Validate decrypt, okay? So the with key right here is gonna allow you to import the private key address Okay, because it's encrypted if you use the BIP, okay? Go ahead and do this validate thing either way, even if you don't encrypt it, okay? You're also going to, when you do encrypt it, you're going to get a password. You have to remember that password, because if you lose that password, you're in trouble. Go ahead and copy this address here. Go ahead and open up a Word document. You should always test your wallet and send some money before you put all the rest of your money in, so we're going to do that. Type in public, private. Paste the private address here. Go back to your wallet. your paper wallet and here's your public address it's the same one that's on the photo okay paste that here now we're not going to keep this we're just going to use this for now okay now if you type snip into your windows computer here you see there's a snipping tool Click on that, and you can click New to capture an area and save it, okay? So what you're going to want to do is copy all of this here, and you're going to want to copy this here, and you're going to want to store these in a USB drive or some other secure place. close that out. Let's close that out. Let's go back into Wi-Fi. If you want extra security, go ahead and clear your cookies, clear your uh, browsing history, and restart your computer. Okay? Up to you. Once you restart your computer, turn your Wi-Fi back on, get out of airplane mode. Now we're going to send funds to our wallet. Okay, so you can see I have the core wallet open here. Send funds, pay to. I'm going to copy that public address here. Copy. Do this. Paste that in here. Give it a label. I'm going to call it test2. I'm going to send 5xvg and then hit send. Are you sure you want to send 5xvg to test 2? Yes. If you have an encrypted wallet, you're going to need to type in your password. Confirm the transaction fee of 0 0.10 XVG, yes. Okay, now it's going to load that. And now it's sent. You can see it says 1560 here. I got a little notification here saying 510 XVG has been sent. Go to verse-blockchain.info. Go ahead and type in your public address. And it shouldn't show up at first, so you're going to have to wait a couple of minutes. Okay, so I waited a couple minutes. Let's try this again. 
And there it is, 5XVG, that's exactly what I sent. Awesome. Okay. So this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to import your private key to your core wallet from your paper wallet. This will allow you to take the Verge XVG off of your paper wallet when the time comes and put it onto your core wallet. I'm going to go ahead and do an introduction here because I'm going to split this video up and make a, a separate video just for this part because a lot of people are asking about this. So don't mind my introduction again. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? This is Alex with Verge Army XVG. Today I'm going to show you how to import your coins from your paper wallet and put it onto your core wallet. Uh, to do this, you will need to import the private key from your paper wallet. It's a little tricky for beginners, so let me show you how to do it. First, a good idea would be to go ahead and go to verge-blockchain.info and type in your public address of your wallet here to confirm your coins are, in fact, in the paper wallet. Click search here and you should see how your amount of coins. I did five coins in this paper wallet in order to test it. Then you're gonna to wanna to go over to your core wallet here. Go to the debug window, click on console. Now the instructions I'm about to give you are for an encrypted wallet. So if you're unsure that you'll be able to do this correctly with a wallet that is not encrypted, just go ahead and encrypt your wallet real quick so that way you can do it exactly how I do it. Um, but it's, it's real easy either way. If you have an Android Tor wallet, you can use the QR code to sweep the private key instead. Okay, so you can use this QR code right here. Make sure it's the WIF. Okay, that's the private key. Let me show you the help command here. This is where you're going to find a list of commands that you can use in the wallet. I'm not going to go over all these, but I'm just going to go over how to import your private key here. So, here we go. First, you're going to want to type in wallet lock. Next, you're going to want to get your wallet out of minting mode. And again, this is for encrypted wallets. Go ahead and type in wallet pass phrase p a s s p h r a s e hit space type in your pass phrase buy more verge this is a temporary password here so space type in 600 hit enter Next, you want to type in import priv, P-R-I-V, key. Hit space. Go over to your private with key. If you don't know what the private with key is, you need to watch my video on how to make a Verge paper wallet. back to your wallet. Again, you had import priv key, space, paste your private key, hit space again, and now we're going to type a label that we want this to show up as. Let's name this bananas. Then hit enter. The last step is to lock the wallet again. So type in wallet lock and hit enter. If you're successful, the screen should look exactly like this and you should have no errors. So everything should be running good here. Now we just wait. And you can see a little troubleshoot bar has opened up here. It says not responding. 
Okay, so it looks like both times that I've tested this wallet, after I typed in that final wallet lock code and hit enter, the wallet appears to stay in that frozen mode, so I went ahead and closed it out. I tested this a couple times, and it seems like they just need to change the code in here to where it will close the application. So you're going to want to go ahead and, I would just wait maybe 30 seconds, a minute, and go ahead and close that application, and then reopen it. The wallet needs to reload the block index. So like I said, go ahead and close the application, and then reopen it. And as you can see here, I have 20.60 XVG, so it did go through here. And then going through to recent transactions, we can see bananas right here. So the funds from the paper wallet are on the core wallet now. So that's how you import private keys into the core wallet. All right, thanks for watching. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below. I do love to hear from the community. Check us out on Facebook at Verge Army XVG. Check me out on Twitter and my Telegram channel. Also, if you would like to help support my volunteer work, go ahead and donate some XVG to my address posted below. Every little bit counts. I really appreciate it. If you liked my video, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.